Joining me today, I have Jordan St. Cyr all the way in Tennessee, although he's initially, of course, from Niverville, Manitoba. That's right. Jordan, thanks so much for taking the time. Always good to be on with yourself. Absolutely. You have the first real homecoming show since your move to Tennessee four, I think, four years ago. Um, three, how almost did... three. Okay. Three feels years like, ago. Feels like four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how does it feel to have your homecoming show sold out? Uh, it's incredible. You know, we just, we we wanted to do something special in Niverville, you know, um, just to really honor all the relationships that have helped us get to where we are here. And uh, I'm just blown away by the response. We're going to have a packed house. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful night of worship and celebrating really what God has done in our lives and what he's, he, I think he, his desire is to do in, in each one of our lives. So uh, it's going to be awesome, man. Absolutely. That's Thursday, yeah. August 29th, the homecoming show. Now you have a special guest. Would you tell us a little bit about how that came to be? Yeah. I'm so excited to have my buddy, Steve Bell. Uh, he's going to be playing the show. Now he's not opening the show. All right. He's going to be smack dab in the middle and then we're actually going to have a conversation together. We're going to talk about, you know, life. We're going to talk about what God's been doing in our lives and uh, uh, maybe even, a, you know, an opportunity for people to just ask some questions uh, right in the middle of the show and just really create this family family feel uh, for the night. And so I'm just really excited that that Steve said yes and wants to be a part of this. So pretty cool. And you've known him for... A couple of years, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so Steve was actually my dad's best man at his wedding. And my dad was Steve's best man at his wedding. They used to live together back in the day. And so he's been a family friend for a long time. And uh, again, to be able to do something in this capacity is pretty great. Is there something different about a hometown show than just, you know, the many that you have played? Absolutely. I'm I'm so stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> All these people know me, you know, there's no hiding, there's no veil. Right. And so, um, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. There's going to be family. There. There's going to be friends I've known for years there. There's going to be people there, uh, who have encouraged me and supported me the whole way, even when they probably shouldn't have, you know what I mean? And so, um, I, yeah, I just think it's going to be such a great, uh, time of, of just, honoring, you know, the season before you know, that came before the success um, and, and the season after. And uh, hopefully to portray that I'm just the same guy, you know, my husband, my father, uh, who just happens to, to, you know, write and sing songs. Um, but at the end of the day, we want to, uh, to glorify God in everything we do. Um, but it is, there is an intimacy to this show because people know me in such a, you know, more, more intimate way. And so I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I hope you know, that I can bring something of worth and value that really, you know, showcases what I believe in. And, and the fact that we all get to get together and, and do that is just, again, it's incredible. I got to say, I was thinking immediately of the Bible verse where Jesus says, you know, when you come back to your hometown, there's this like disbelief, but the fact that it's sold out shares that that's not the case. Hey. <laughs> I definitely felt, you know, like, like, you know what I mean? I think I've done this to other people. It's like a prophet isn't welcome in his hometown. Right. And I think it's important that we go and we, we learn and we, we educate ourselves and we grow. And so that when we do come back, you know, that we are bringing something of value that people actually, you know, desire to see or hear or be a part of. And so, um, I think it's, it's a way that, you know, kind of, reveals to yourself do you really want this because you do have to overcome a lot of that and uh and 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 honestly it just tells a better story so if you know if you're listening and you're in your hometown and and you want to have that big show well we'll go do the work you know go to where like for me it, it was nashville you know to relearn how to write songs and and become a better artist and and all those things um i feel like now i can come back and and hopefully bring something of value something of worth that that really honors you know all the people in our town so yeah absolutely 
So you're playing the Neverville show Thursday night, and then this weekend as well, you're playing another Manitoba show. Tell yeah. us a little bit about Fun with Family Day, and yeah. yeah, what this means to you. It starts on September 1st. The grounds open up at 10 a.m. There's going to be a bazillion things to do there for the family. So bring the kids, bring bring your friends. You know, they've got like zip lines, and they've got like you know, petting zoos and all these amazing activities. I think there's like 71 vendors there. And so there'll be activities to do all day. Um, the music starts a little later. I believe we go on at 6 p.m. So you don't want to miss that. And uh, Ren Collective, they're going to go on at 9 p.m. And that's a show you don't want to miss. These guys are incredible. They are one of those bands, you know, growing up that I listened to that were very formative for me. Um, and uh, it's going to be a great day. So, yeah. And it's, and it's free. You know, know what I mean? So like, good. You know what I mean? I, I, you may still have to get a ticket, but it's zero dollars. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I will say my lighthouse. Anytime I think of like summer camp, that's in there. Absolutely. It's for sure in there. Um, now you have played with so many uh, Christian names that a lot of people know and that our radio station plays. Have yeah. you played with Brooke Nichols before and Ren Collective? I don't believe I've played with either. I. I, I did play a festival where Brooke was at, but we have never played a show together like this. Okay. And so um, it's just going to be great. You know, Brooke and her husband, Steve, are just, you know, amazing people. They recently uprooted their lives uh, with their kids and moved to to B.C. to lead worship at a church. And so they're in a time of, of you know, a journeying season, so to speak. And so um, it'll just be great to connect with them. And, and obviously the Rend uh, guys are just they're just so full of life and energy. Excited to hang with them. Absolutely. Uh, when it comes to the fall, you know, headed back to Tennessee, what does this look like for you, your band? Are you touring a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah. So the My Foundation Tour, you know, which is the uh, the title of my album, uh, will kick off beginning of October, go all the way to U.S. Thanksgiving, which is the last week, uh, last weekend in November. And so we're going to be playing pretty heavy. And uh, this is my first headline tour, which is so exciting. We have uh, a band called Stars Go Dim uh, join us and uh, an opening band called The Band Table. And The Band Table, they're just a, a, a collective of worship leaders and they're the sweetest people on earth. So um, we're just really looking to all hang out together and, and bond and live life on the road. It's going to be an amazing time. And, uh, and then there might be some plans for Christmas, so we'll see what happens. Sounds fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and, uh, sharing with us about these Manitoba shows. Hey, my pleasure, Syl. Thanks so much for having me.